Hi friends, welcome to Sunara Kitchen. This is Neetu. I am going to show you something different which is robot floor vacuum cleaner and mop. I got this wonderful gift from my son and he is going to help me to make the video and review it. Hello everybody, I'm Rocky and there's the D-Bot. Or like my mom likes to call it, the Rocky Bot. As you can see here, the D-Bot is sitting at its charging dock. Unlike most vacuum robots, this actually has a voice indicating all the notifications that you need to know. So let's turn this over. So this also comes with a handle, so you can pick it up and it might say something. You I should... Suspended. There we go. Saying that it is suspended. Okay. So yeah. Uh, this looks very regular, like all other robots do, with uh, the side brush, the wheels that sink in, go up, so it can elevate on different floor levels. And then you have the area where the vacuum cleaner sucks up all the dust and dirt. This also comes with a rolling brush, but we put this in so it doesn't get coiled up with all the hair. Now, this is something very new, unlike, not unlike most robots. This is basically the water tank. If I take it out, you can see I can fill water here. I've already done a bit of that. I had to test it out a bit. Uh, and this robot mops, which is beautiful, which we'll come to later in this video. Yes. So let's flip this over. And if I open this, oh, this is by the way, the, the laser sensor. If I open this, you can see the dustbin. Where I can pick it up and it has filters you know the regular filters that filter out all the um, particles against allergies and etc and we also have the brush here to clean out some things and cut out the hair when it's stuck in the brush this is also the on and off switch okay let's place it back on the base There we go. Okay. Now, either we can press this button, which is auto, and the robot starts vacuuming the house, mapping the house, and sensing areas, which is floor and which is carpet, which is really nice. Because when it starts mopping, it doesn't tend to go on the carpet. Or, we can also use this amazing app at Ecovacs provides Rocky bot online let's click on that and here we go so the map of the house and then if I press on auto starting the clean. it says that it's starting the clean so it's analyzing where all the boundaries are where's the wall which part of the floor is the carpet and which is actually the wooden floor. Now it's started to vacuum. It also has beautiful sensors that help it to navigate around the house and that help it to not bump into something too harsh. Let's go on over to the app. As you can see in the app, the white section is all the section that the robot has vacuumed already. And the gray section is all the section that it has detected or sensed out um, in this session or also, you know, that it detected out in the last session that I vacuumed. But the checker or the pattern lines on the map is actually what it detects is the carpet on the map. So that in the future sessions when we vacuum, uh, sorry, when we mop, it doesn't go over the carpet with the mop. It's pretty cool how the robot slows down as soon as it detects that there's something in front of it instead of ramming straight into it.
And something what I was very impressed was that the map in the app gets updated live. So you can see exactly where your robot is going on your map or in your house in real time. And the robot also cleans the house in a very uh, zigzag pattern. It goes back and forth rather than in a very random algorithm. Yes, there we go. The side brush just sweeping in all the dust and dirt. Oh yeah, and also as soon as it goes on the carpet, it switches to turbo mode, which then helps the vacuum suck up dirt and dust even better. And then again, I uh, also helps it to identify, I guess, which is the carpet and which is the normal hard floor. There's actually some thread on the floor. Let's see how it vacuums it up. And gone. Bravo. I've just placed this chair so that you guys can see how it actually maneuvers around the chair. pretty cool it goes around the chair as much as it can I see some dust over there Yes, and it's gone. And to get a more thorough clean on the carpets, I just need to basically switch to the, the roller brush, the main rolling brush that I spoke about in the beginning of the video. Alright, I think that's enough for the vacuuming part. Now let's move on to the mopping part. So as you can see, I've already filled up the tank with uh, some water and put in the microfiber cloth. And we just need to put this in. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like about D-Bot is the fact that it's really difficult to put in the water tank. Oh yeah, as soon as you do that, it says it's ready. Yes, there we go. And now using the app once again, I click on auto. I am relocating. I am starting the clean. Still analyzing. I am starting the clean. Difficult to locate. I am starting the new cleaning cycle. There we go. And there we go. You can see the marks on the floor. That has done all the mopping. And here we go. This is what I meant that it doesn't vacuum or doesn't mop on the carpet during its uh, mopping session. So that's very nice. Not gonna end up with uh, wet carpets. Now let's go back to the app. All the blue parts that you see on the map is the areas where the D-Bot has already mopped which is very nice. It indicates where it's mopped, where it's not been at the moment, so it can go back there in the future. All right, I'm gonna let the D-Bot do its work, leave it alone for once, 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, this review I guess I gave because I just really love this thing and um, I guess my mom does too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.